Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. For the second time in a month, several members of the community spoke up in defense of a city inclusion department employee who has been on administrative leave since late February. Inclusion liaison Semahar Gabrikidin has retained an attorney as she works through whether her employment will be continued. She was the first person to serve in that position created by city leaders in 2021. Mayor Bob Scott said Gabby Keaton supporters certainly could speak, but noted that city officials could not publicly comment regarding confidential personnel matters. Scott said the city continues to want to, quote, foster diversity and inclusion, end quote, and supports the city's inclusive Sioux City Advisory Committee. Community member Dave Scott said Gabby Keaton has participated in many events that have opened avenues for Morningside University students. Why I, along with other members of the community, urge the city to work quickly to bring her back. Without people like Semahar who engage in new ideas, defy harmful boundaries, and uplift the community, Sioux City will remain stuck in time and unable to provide people with new, edifying experiences. In other news, Iowa members of the Law Enforcement Immigration Task Force say they're concerned about a new state law that will let state police arrest undocumented immigrants who are denied entry to the U.S. The national group includes a handful of Iowa law enforcement leaders. Marshalltown Police Chief Michael Tupper is the co-chair of the task force. Tupper says, quote, This law will make the job of law enforcement more difficult. It will diminish public safety because it will cause people to needlessly fear the police. Governor Kim Reynolds signed the bill into law last week, saying the Biden administration has failed to enforce immigration laws. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.